So the author at the end says, what will happen in the traditionalist world? How will traditionalists respond? He says, this is where we turn to obedience. He says, it is the key problem of obedience over which even the world of tradition, a dirty game is often played, often incited not by a sincere search for what is best or for the truth, but personal wars, which have today become more acute in the face of the writh called, caused by health totalitarianism and vaccination. Obedient, and this is the error that finds its deepest root, even in the preconciliar church, it must be said, is not an end. It is a means of sanctification. Let me pause here. Obedience is a means of sanctification. It is not an absolute value. It is an instrumental value. It is a positive value, very positive, It's if it's ordered towards God. If one obeys Satan or his servants or obeys error or obeys apostasy, obedience is no longer good. You can't say obedience is always the right thing to do. Otherwise, you're obeying Hitler and you're obeying Satan. Obedience has limits, people. If the Pope says jump off that cliff and commit suicide, H to the no. Not going to do it. If the Pope says, I want you to go to this mass and the Jesuit priest there says, Our mother who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Take your kids to that. H to the no. I'm not going to go. I'm not taking my precious little kids who I try to catechize and teach the rosary to. I'm not taking them to a mass that contains heresy. No, not going to do it. The article then says, exactly like peace, obedience is like peace. Peace, the divinity of today's subversion, is not an end, but rather an instrument of the good and the just, if it's aimed at creating a good and just, just society. If it is ordered towards creating or favoring a society that is satanic, malignant, erroneous, and subversive, then peace becomes an instrument of hell. So that gets us to the end. And it brings up this question of the limits of obedience. And the article ends with these words, let us pray, let us hope, let us keep vigil, and let us choose to be on the right side. The enemy helps us in the choice. In fact, he is always the same everywhere. Things are becoming more clear. 